What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing some more WWE action figure surgery. <laughs> So in this episode, guys, as you can see, we have a ton of Seth Rollins figures, as you probably saw over the multiple episodes of My Damn Halls that were in this past few weeks. All right, so what we have here is four Elite 37s, one Toys R Us exclusive, and two Elite 45s. We're going to be switching around a lot of stuff right here, guys. On all of these Seth Rollins right here, if you can notice, the arms are skinnier than the uh, newer arms that we have over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through my collection, find some guys that have uh, this size arms. We're going to pop those on there, and then we're going to take some Rey Mysterio hands that I have off to the side here, and we're going to pop those hands in there. That way we can get it, you know, the accurate look that I want, you know, the molded glove look with the bigger arms. I just like those uh, bigger arms. Just They just fit better for Seth Rollins. These are too skinny in my opinion. They may look too, they, they may be ripped up, but they're not big. Like, they don't have mass to them, and Seth Rollins has some big arms. So what we're going to do is do that. We're also going to be switching all of the knee pads on these guys because Mattel doesn't give them the right ones. They gave the basics the right ones, so we're going to have to come through here and switch on all of those. And we may do some head swaps and stuff, but uh, we're doing all these switches so that I can start customizing each set to the, you know, the moment and the whatever I want. You know, Money in the Bank 2014 and some other attires that are close to the Elite 37, but not quite that. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I also forgot we're also going to be creating a pre-match Seth Rollins right here and then a post-match Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 2015 when he won the United States Championship and he was, uh, you know, WWE World Heavyweight and U.S. Champion at the same time where he defeated John Cena. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the lineup right here. Here is the Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins and as you'll see, the gold dust is behind there. That is the hands that we're going to be switching in there but he doesn't have little wrist uh, band things. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some that I found in my fodder box, these little two down here that you see. Uh, we're going to use those. We're going to pop on this, these basic knee pads to give them the accurate look. And then we're going to use AJ Styles' arms. Uh, I had some extra AJ Styles fodder laying around because this one's foot broke off. So uh, we're going to be using his arms. Going over, we have an Elite 37 Seth Rollins. And we're going to be switching over uh, some Gold Dust hands as well, the molded glove look. We have some Elite 57 Seth Rollins arms from our, uh, you know, post-WrestleMania switch. So we have those arms left over that we're going to be switching the gloves and wristbands into there. Also got to switch the basic knee pads in. Over here we have another Elite 37 Seth Rollins, but we're going to be switching Rey Mysterio hands and wristbands into the uh, Elite 45 Seth Rollins arms. I hate it, but we're probably going to have to acetone those uh, Seth Rollins arms right there because, you know, the, the wrist bands or whatever go up too high. And, of course, we're giving them a knee pad swap. Over here, we have some more Rey Mysterio hands and wrist bands and then some Chad Gable arms. I had uh, a few Chad Gable elites laying around, so uh, I popped the arms off of those. And that's the same for over here on this guy. So both of these guys have the same exact formula pretty much. And then to finish it off, we have both Elite 45 Seth Rollins switching the knee pads, and then we're going to switch the right arm on this one because it'll be post-match. And if you guys remember, at SummerSlam 2015, his right wristband thing fell off, and uh, at the end of the match, he had only one on his left wrist. So that's what we're going to be doing over there. We'll also add the championships to that one, and uh, we'll see what it all looks like when we're finished up. So I guess the first order of business will be to remove all of the hands off of the uh, arms that we're going to do, and then all of the glove hands that we're missing. All right, guys, here is the group of guys that are getting all their hands removed. Rey Mysterio, Gold Dust, the other Gold Dust, and all of these fodder arms are all getting their hands removed. All right, guys, so here are all the arms and hands after everything is swapped and removed and everything. Obviously, we're going to have to acetone off these designs over here. We may have to do it on the white wrist tape as well, or I may just go ahead and do it just so I don't have to, you know, pop them on there and then have to remove them. But uh, we're for sure going to have to acetone this off. But then what we're going to do is uh, pop off all of the Seth Rollins arms. All right, guys, so here are the arms after I acetoned off the designs and placed on the wristbands on all of them. Now what we have to do is remove all of the arms off of all of our Seth Rollins elites so that we can uh, proceed to put these arms on and hands. All right, guys, now we have all the Seth Rollins arms off. Now we can add the newer, bigger arms that I like better, and then we'll pop in the hands as well. So here are the Seths with the arm swaps and the glove swaps and the wristbands added there, guys. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys like it better. I sure do. I just don't think that the other arms fit Seth Rollins. These just make him look bigger and more bulky like he is and like he was during 2014 and 2015. I just love the way this looks. And um, I know the, the right hands, I don't like how open they are. So I guess like later on when I'm done with the customs, I'll probably heat these up and mold them to where they're like a more closed fist and then you know put some cold water on there and it'll hold that position that's just a lot better this is just way too open for me it makes them look overly sized in my opinion the uh, left hand however looks really good i am very happy with the way this turned out so i i think i'm just gonna have to uh, you know Heat these up, mold them to the way I like it, then uh, harden them so that they hold position, so they can hold money in the bank briefcases or WWE titles or whatever I want them to do. But uh, now that we've gotten the arms, guys, we got to move on to the knee pads. And then, of course, we also have to fix our uh, 2015 Seth Rollins right arm. All right, guys, so what we're going to have to do is since these are open knee pads and they're really thin back here, they will tear if you try to stretch them over you know the top of the kick pads because you know this this articulates and spins but this part right here is really tough to get over especially with open knee pads it will tear them in half so what i do is i pull the knee pads up as you can see right here uh, i pull the knee pads up and then i heat up the lower legs remove the lower legs slide these knee pads off slide the new ones on and then reattach with that peg so that's the best way to do it so i'm going to go ahead and knock that out two hours later so after a little while, guys, I finally have gotten all of these knee pads switched. All the Elite 37s, all the uh, Toys R Us exclusive, both Elite 45s. I did switch that arm. I went ahead and switched that arm right there so that, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Um, in the future, though, before I finish up all these sets, I'm going to have to add tiny chest hair to all of them, tiny stomach hair, because Seth did have some chest and stomach hair on there, you know, give it the most realistic feel to it. But that pretty much does it for all the switching we're going to do here today. Um, maybe later on I'll be doing some uh, painting videos and showing you guys, you know, the, the process of me creating the sets. Maybe I can go ahead and knock that out. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see that. I'm about to go ahead and film some MDT Live so I can get it up to you guys as soon as possible. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I guess it wasn't too bad of surgery. You know, we had to detach some shins and reattach some shins and, you know, switch some arms and stuff. So not too bad of a surgery. I think it was pretty successful here today. But subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.